Okay, today's reading is from Genesis chapter 4. Adam, the man, sexed his wife, and she had Cain. Thank the Lord. Then Eve had Abel. He was a sheep herder. Gain, Cain grew gain, grain, ah, grain, okay. Cain took an offering to the Lord, and so did Abel. Well, the Lord was happy about the offering from Abel and not impressed with Cain. So Cain was pissed off and took Abel out in the field and murdered him. Hey, Cain, where's your brother? How the hell would I know? I saw you murder him, so leave the farm and wander the earth. What? Out there in the world, someone might kill me. Now, where would this someone uh, have come from. Uh, just a minor contradiction. So we go on and the Lord tells Cain, he promises him, if anyone kills you, I'll kill them seven times. So Cain went to Nod, that's east of Eden. Cain had sex with his wife. Out came Enoch. So Cain founded a city and called it Enoch. Enoch had a kid, Erand. Erand had Mahul Ma Ma and Mahul had Bathusala, who had Lamech. Lamech took two wives, Ada and Tzela. Ada made Jebel, and he made all the tent dwelling folk that hung with the herds. Brother Jubal had all the sons and sons of sons who played the lyre and the pipe. Tubla Cain made things out of iron and copper. His sister was Nema. And just so you know how friendly God's family is, was, or is, I have slain a man for wounding me and a lad for bruising me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Adam sexed his wife again, and they got Seth. He and Enosh, and he said, oh, he had Enosh, and he said, Oh God. Okay, so we've got, um, at the end of the innocence, Cain and, um, what was the guy's name? Adam? Adam and Eve had a couple of kids to start out with, and they grew up and, and hated each other. Now, there's some people that think this might be a story relating to the end of, and we'll see this again with um, Jacob and Esau a lot clearer, the end of Hunters and Gatherers. And that was probably about 12,000 years ago when human beings, that's our ancestors, stopped wandering around chasing animals and put them in side fences and planted grain. Now this changed a lot of things and it changed how we live. It made it made it possible for the dishonest fellow to make a lot more wealth than the honest fellow. Whereas by we'll get the that better when we do um, Esau and Jacob. But um, that could be part of the story. It's not just the fact that a character murders, murders another character, it might have a little bit to do with the, the, the idea that our new way of life has destroyed our old way of life. And um, do we need to say anything else about this chapter? Except for that it's always men having their sons, and wives, of course, at the time were only any good for making babies. And maybe we'll point out that the, oh, Cain was worried about other people in the world. So it could be that chapter one and chapter two, when he first created all the human beings, he created the Gentiles. I'm talking about God here. And so then when he went to the Garden of Eden, it was his idea to create the special people that we later call the Hebrews, and even further on, we refer to them as Jews, the chosen race. The, the chosen, and we'll get into that later as well. Um, and we'll just point out how friendly these 
soon to be Hebrews were, and and it's it's part it's part of the survival though. If you let the world know that if you fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck with you a lot more than you fucked with me. So people won't fuck with the Hebrews because they know they're gonna get killed, and then their kids are gonna get killed, and their kids' kids will be killed after they have the kids. They can't kill them before the kids. But um, the whole idea is revenge is a part of um, survival. And of course, the whole book is very hateful. And the whole concept was to hate everybody else so that you can kill them whenever you need to and plunder whatever you need to. And part of this, of course, comes from our agriculture. Before, it wasn't so, so easy to plunder other people because they didn't have anything. They had... They got themselves whatever they hunted and they ate it and it was gone and they had whatever they could carry on their backs when they wandered around. But now that we've got agriculture, you can start accumulating things and it isn't too, too much longer before you start accumulating metals and then fine fabrics and whatnot. So what's worth going to your neighbors, slaughtering them and robbing whatever they have. And of course, it's not a bad idea to keep the little girls so that you can rape them as well because raping little girls is a lot of fun which we'll learn later as well.